Welcome, systems check. System all clear. Initiating startup protocol. Welcome trivia and crypto degenerates. Access granted. Enjoy the descent into this immersive game of knowledge. All right, there we go. We're live. Welcome back, everybody. It's been, it's been I don't know, a couple of weeks, I think, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been two weeks. We are back. Yeah, we apologize. Kyle and I had gotten pretty busy with yes. some stuff and things at work. So, but we're back. We got a good game tonight. Um, we'll give it a give it about a minute or two before we get started. So, um, we actually we already got more people on than I thought we'd get the first time. Yeah, we've already we've already surpassed my expectations. So, yeah. Like I said, maybe maybe this will be like the uh, this will be like the record breaker, and all of a sudden we get like fifty people on. <laughs> Yeah. No, that won't happen because YouTube hates us, but that is true as well. Um, so tonight we got a couple grab bag rounds. We have a round about history, we got a round of geography, um, and then we also got a, a very special first round, which mm -hmm. is all about a specific song, and I will not name the song of Peter Gabriel. <laughs> you, you can't say the song either because it has Kyle. So, I, I can I can guess what it is. No Dan, Dan, guessing. Dan made the whole game. Um, yeah. I can take a guess at probably what song it is. Um, well, we we, we shot up to eleven. Now we're down to seven. So I say, you know what? Fuck it. Let's get going. Let's, Let's do go. this thing. It, it's funny because every time we take a like a quick uh, hiatus and we take a couple days off, or if we take a night. It always takes like a like a couple weeks to get back up to our normal. We usually average oh, like yeah. eighteen to twenty people watching, uh, and I don't. I think it's just uh, we don't have a great setup for that probably, but you know, it is what it is. That's right. It, it is what it is. Oh my god! Can you hear Chewy in the background? He's driving me. I, he's driving me fucking nuts right now because I closed the door to the room down here and he's trying to get in. All right, question number one, all about Peter Gabriel's song. What tool did Peter Gabriel want to be to the listener of his most famous song? Sledgehammer, a jackhammer, a drill, or a buzzsaw? <laughs> this is one of my absolute favorite songs. Can you imagine if he said he wanted to be their jackhammer? <laughs> I, was, I was thinking the exact same thing when I, when I made it. I was like, oh, man. How long will it be? <laughs> Jack Hammer. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it is Sledgehammer. It's like everybody knew that. Joey said he was just singing it. So a lot of this round is going to, the entire round is about this song and the music video. If you have never seen Sledgehammer music video, you absolutely need to do it right after this because it is. The craziest four and a half minutes of your life. Yeah, you'll never look at things the same. Question number two. What filming technique was used for the music video Sledgehammer? Stop motion, digital filming, CGI, or black and white? Curious how, how people know their uh, Peter Gabriel songs. All right, Kyle, what is it? Well, I was thinking it was stop motion. It is. So Sledgehammer, the entire music video was stop motion with, you know, claymation and different other techniques. But stop motion was the entirety of the thing. But they also use things like claymation on top of uh, stop motion. Like I said, it's very, very interesting. It must have taken video. a long time to make that music video. 16... Isn't, isn't it? Isn't stop motion one of like the longest processes? That yes, there is? it's very tedious. Just to film like thirty seconds of something usually takes days or weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, question number three: The music video for Sledgehammer won a record amount of MTV awards. How many did it win? Two, three, nine, or four? This is still a record today. No, no song or no music video has ever beaten this. For how many awards it won? So it's interesting that like 
nine is an option with the other with the other three of them being so close. I was gonna say four, like like the number four. Um, mm -hmm. but nine's just kind of interesting. Kyle going with four. It is nine. One nine. I was gonna go with like fifteen, but I feel like I anytime I do these number ones, I tend to like put the one in that's correct in the middle a lot of times instead of like being the highest or lowest amount. So I gotta switch it up sometimes. Mm-hmm. Nine. Wow. Has there has there been anything that's even come close to that? I have no idea. I know it hasn't been broken yet, so I'm I'm guessing there's been a few that are close. But all right, question number four. Before going solo, Peter Gabriel was once the lead singer for what band? The Police, The Cars, Genesis, or Chicago? So he was the lead singer until. Uh, balding man as the drummer decided to start singing and that's how we got good old uncle phil yep so it should be genesis and then all phil collins took over how do you think that feel like you know peter gabriel sure doesn't beat himself <laughs> up over it because he had such a successful solo career but phil collins not only alpha him in genesis and then also had a better <laughs> solo career too yeah we got <laughs> dude phil collins was He's just a beast. Mm -hmm. And I like Peter Who's your, who's your favorite music, band on that list? Oh, Genesis 100%. Not even close. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not even close. The Cars is is pretty good, and I like Chicago. Um, I'm not a huge Sting or the Police fan. Mm -mm. Yeah, overrated. All right, question number five. What unique instrument is used to solo in the beginning of the song? Was it a xylophone, snare drums, Shaku cha, Shaku Chachi, or whatever the hell it's called, or electric guitar. Shaku Hachi. That's what I meant to say. Which of those which, was it the police or the cars that had that? Uh, I'll be watching you. That was the police, right? It's the police, yeah. Oh, it's the creepiest fucking song ever. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, I, can't it. I can't listen to it. That's like an instant change. Of... So, do you know which one this is, Kyle? Used at the beginning of the song. Yeah. Uh, I was I was gonna go with the weird. So, one. Uh, shakuhachi is a uh, Asian flute. Essentially, it's used in the middle of the song and in the beginning of the song as like a solo, which is a very interesting choice. But it just you know it makes sense. Also, I'm a huge Harry Styles fan. I like a lot of his music. He mm -hmm. does a cover on the Howard Stern show of Sledgehammer, and he absolutely kills it. He is amazing. Because he's a huge Peter Gabriel fan. So, anyway, first points of the night go to Kev, Brooke, and Joey. Keeping it all in the family. So we got history. Going round two. Looks like this round's history. Any specific type of history or just... No, general? this is actually kind of all over the place. We talk about presidents. We talk about kings. Um, okay. Yeah. Stuff and things. Good. Some stuff and things and things and stuff. All right, here we go. Number one, which U.S. president was famously attacked by a swimming rabbit? Ronald Reagan, Lyndon Johnson, Jimmy Carter, or Gerald Ford? Attacked by a swimming rabbit. <laughs> Can rabbits actually swim? Yeah, I suppose. I guess it's, it's probably as good as like a dog could. I wouldn't say they like swim like. Yeah, that's true. Well, but so it is Jimmy Carter. You know, it's a shame because Jimmy Carter is often seen as one of the worst presidents in the world. And that whether that's true or not, I'm not here to argue that. I think he is like seriously one of like the best humanitarians. The guy's like 98 and he's still building houses mm -hmm. yep. for Habitat for Humanity. That's pretty incredible. All right, number two. What German telegram was intercepted by the British during World War One that promised to give Mexico back to the Southeast U.S. if they declared war on the U.S.? Zimmerman telegram, 
Van Trapp Telegram, Reinhardt Telegram, or Bernstorff Telegram? Yeah, that was a lengthy question, but I had to get it all in there. Do you know which one this is, Kyle? Any guesses? I think it's the Zimmerman. Kyle's going in Zimmerman. I do find it funny that Germany was like, hey, we'll promise to give you back the land if Mexico declared war on the U.S. I don't really understand where their logic in that is because if Mexico, why would they need Germany's permission? If they had won the war, why would they need Germany's permission for that land? Are the other three are the other three on there actually telegrams? I was figuring like Van Trapp, isn't that from Sound of Music? <laughs> yeah, this is and uh, uh, Reinhardt could be a bunch of different things. Uh which king of England was nicknamed the Lionheart? Richard, Henry, George, or Charles? Let's see, a lot of people, well, it's kind of split on this one. Do you know this one, Kyle? I was thinking it was Henry. No, so it's King Richard the First was known as Richard the Lionheart. So he oh, actually I should have known that. He was killed very early, uh, even at that time, it was in eleven hundreds. He was killed at the age of forty one, and he was killed by an archer. And the archer, instead of being punished, he actually summoned him to his bedchamber as he was dying, paid the dude a hundred shillings, which apparently was like a crap ton of money back in the day, and then just set him free. And then died. Huh. I should have known it was Richard. Uh, number four. To what political party did Abraham Lincoln belong when elected president? Whig, Republican, Independent, or Democrat? Curious what everybody's saying for this. So Bobby says the Von Trapp is the sound of music to me. Yeah, I think that's honestly uh, where I kind of put it out of my head. I was thinking of like something German, and that was like, yeah, that's sounds right. Okay, way more people got that than I thought. I, I knew it was Republican. I was curious to see what everybody went with, and um, yeah, way more people got that than I thought. Yeah, actually, me too. I. I figured that'd be kind of all over the board just because, you know, yeah, so long ago and political parties and their ideals shift over time. Mm -hmm. So it is funny how that worked. Number five, in what year did Texas secede from Mexico? 1898, 1836, 1738, or 1645? Let's see how well people know their Texas history. Any guesses on this one, Kyle? Hmm. I was going to say 1836. Okay. It is 1836. That is correct. Well, I figured three. it couldn't be three or four. So I kind of had it narrowed down to one or two. <laughs> That, yeah, that's true. Because technically we weren't a country until Good well point. after both of those. See, Bobby wouldn't know that. Sorry, Bobby. That was a disadvantaged question. Bobby says, I don't even know about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> well known in the history books. That's right. Worthy of recognition from the archive. Uh, all right, uh, so we got Evelyn with the point. We got Stephanie. So we got three new people. So we got a six-way tie now. And then Dirk. Going into round number three, which this one I believe is a grab bag. Yeah, that's what it looked like. And it was originally thing. supposed to be geography, and somehow the things got mixed up. But this is a grab bag, which got a little everything. Um, although I believe most of it, I think four of the five questions have to do with animation. So I just had one in the beginning that was completely different, which is why I didn't name it animation. Anyway, question number one. The term battery 
to describe an electrical storage device was coined by Nikola Tesla, Luigi Galvani, Benjamin Franklin, or Alessandro Volta. Hmm. A lot of peeps going with Tesla. Hey, what are you thinking, Kyle? Well, I was thinking Tesla because I was I had a feeling that two and four were actually made up names. <laughs> so it's actually Benjamin Franklin back in the 1700s. He used the term battery. He's you know, the guy did a lot of things, but mm -hmm. it's funny because now it's coming out more and more that the guy was kind of a dirty bird. In mm -hmm. a lot of his personal life, but especially when he lived in England for like, I don't know, 10, 15 years in and around the Revolutionary War, he was living in England a lot. Uh, question number two, what is the name of Sid's dog in the movie Toy Story? Whiskers, Scud, Mr. Jones, or Buster? I'm sure Kyle knows this one. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> ingrained into my brain at this point honestly like i feel like sid would be excused if he became a serial killer after what he witnessed as a kid like, if you were <laughs> your toy coming alive and then realizing that you had been torturing him and they actually had a conscious conscience um yeah you would definitely turn into like some you'd definitely turn into a lunatic or something so, so the dog buster, is, buster is andy's dog yeah and that's got his suds Oh, yeah, Steph realized it after she did it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the rest and of it. Buster's such a cool dog, though. Like, in the third one, he just becomes, like, this fat turd that, <laughs> like, can't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, question number three. What is the lost? What is lost in Hawaiian? And is also the name of the little girl in 2012, 2002 film, which features an alien named Stitch. Lulu, Lucy, Lolo, or Lilo? I did not know that meant lost. To be fair, I remember, I think you went to see this in three years with me, Kyle. This was the first trying to Disney movie I did or not. Ly Lila's been watching this quite a bit lately. I, I haven't actually, really sat down and watched it, so. I actually like the movie now that I'm a little older. I like it a lot more, but I remember as a kid, that was my first Disney movie I remember not liking. I saw it in theaters, and I was very disappointed because it wasn't what I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember. I, I don't remember if I saw it or not, but Lila's... She's been watching it lately, and it's it's okay. Child says it's eight. Yeah, nothing special. It's not some not not one of their best. It's got you know it's got good themes to it. Mm -hmm. All right, question number four: Which Family Guy character got his own spinoff show in two thousand nine? The greased up deaf guy, Joe Swanson, Glenn Quagmire, or Cleveland Brown? I think they should have given Herbert his own spinoff. Jesus, it would have gotten would have gotten canceled after episode one. Yeah, you're probably right. Locked children in a basement. <laughs> so, as someone who is a huge Family Guy fan, I haven't really watched Family Guy in a while, and I need to get back into it. It's been a long time, but I was obsessed for a long time. Um, I never watched the Cleveland Brown, show, the Cleveland Show. Nope. I never got into it. I was really upset they didn't give it to Quagmire. I think Quagmire did, was more deserving. Oh, Quagmire is a way like funnier character, I guess. I like yeah. that's what people that's what people go to watch Family Guy for is like it's funny and entertaining and everything. And like Quagmire's character is just it's perfect. really funny. All right, final question of round three. <clears throat> In SpongeBob SquarePants, what is the name of Sandy Cheek's place of residence? So her tree dome, bubble, the aquatic research center, or the dome. You can tell this actually was not my question because center is spelled like Canadian. <laughs> or French Canadian, I guess, is probably how they I think that's a much more pleasing to the eye way of spelling center. I don't know why wow. it just looks it feels right. A lot of people going with the dome. So it's actually Sandy's tree dome. I was just going to say, I think it's the tree dome, isn't it? 
man, Steph being the only one. It's probably because me as a 29-year-old, almost 30-year-old man, <laughs> forcing her to watch it all the time. I love SpongeBob. I still laugh all the time. It's a great show. <laughs> it's honestly just hilarious. What's better, the new episodes or the older ones that we grew up on? Definitely the older one. The newer ones aren't as good. They make SpongeBob a little more like almost just dumb instead of just innocent and st- innocent stupid. They make mm-hmm. him look dumb, but I still enjoy it. I still get a kick out of it. Uh, so Joey's got an extra point. So Joey takes the lead. Um, Bobby's on the board, and Curtis is on the board. So Joey with two, Curtis, Kev, Brooke, Evelyn, Steph, Dirk, and Bobby all with one. Going to round number four, which is another, I believe this is another grab bag, or is this geography? Uh, let's see. It's, it's one of the two. Uh, geography. 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 Yeah, Steph's saying the old ones for sure. I'll have to watch it. I haven't watched SpongeBob in a long time. I bet you Lila would like it. So. Yeah, oh, I'm forcing Bailey to. We watch it every so often. You got to... Uh, number one, what is the name of the capital of Turkey? Oh, boy. Uh, Izmir, Istanbul, Bursa, or Ankara? I did not know this one. Yeah, I feel like it's got to be Istanbul, but I also feel like that's like the obvious answer, so it's got to be something else. That's, that's the only city in Turkey that I know. And do you want, do you want to know why I know Istanbul so well. What do you think of when you hear Istanbul, Kyle? I just I'm curious. Do mm, you think of anything? Not really. I think of uh, the world is not enough. When, <laughs> yeah. when Pierce Brosnan's James Bond has to go to the oil, like the oil fields, yep. and he goes in there, and the chainsaw, the helicopter, the chainsaw comes down and cuts through, and yep. then. Yep. Wow, what's the fat guy's name that helps him out? I can't remember. They used to be enemies in Goldeneye, and then he helps him out in that movie. <laughs> yeah. And he talks about East End Bull, and that's where the final fight takes place. Uh, number two, what is the name of New Zealand's indigenous people? Vikings, Samoans, Polynesians, or Maori? Hmm. See, I thought I thought you would know this, Kyle. I mean, I was gonna go with Vikings, but it is uh, the Maori. Hmm. The Maori peeps. Well, I knew it wouldn't be Samoans or Polynesians, so I, I'm trying to think. So Vikings must be Vikings are like Greenland. Oh, okay. And like the Nordic, they're like Nordic peeps. Iceland and Greenland. Iceland. And- uh, Greenland and uh, Sweden, Switzerland, stuff and things up in that way. The Maori. <clears throat> Bobby said 90 Day Fiance for Istanbul. I don't I don't know the show very much. Hmm. I'm curious what the reference there is. Uh, number three, what's the capital of Greenland? Sisimu, Nuuk, Narsak, or... Man it, man it, soak. <laughs> That's pretty good. I don't, I don't man know. It, <laughs> I like that. I'm, I'm going with four. Man it, soak. Nuke's pretty cool too, though. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't know how you pronounce. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Oh, I have no idea. I was just making that up. I'm sure someone on here knows. That's not our. That's definitely not our specialty. <laughs> our specialty. Bobby says there was a guy in the show from Turkey. Oh, Istanbul. Number four. What is the longest river in Europe? Volga, Thames. Rhine or Danube? Hmm. I feel like it's the 
I feel like it's the Danube, but I don't know if that's in Europe or not. I can see him like I can. You guys can't see Kyle's face, but I can. He's really deep in thought on this. I am. I don't know if the Danube's in Europe <laughs> or not. I'm going with it. Fuck it. It's the it's the Volga. I believe the Danube oh. is. I believe the Danube is actually. It's I, in, it might be in. It might be in Eastern. Europe, but I thought it was in Asia to be honest. But I don't. Know I, was, I I was thinking it was either Europe or South America. So <clears throat> I'd have to hmm. double check my geography on that one. A lot of people went Danube. Okay, I wasn't alone on that. No, that one got everybody. That was our first no winner there. Uh, number five. All the following countries have official claims to territory in Antarctica, except the U.S., Norway. Chile or Australia. Danube is in Germany. Well, okay. So does Germany is Germany's kind of in the middle of Europe. I mean, it's definitely, I guess, probably considered more of a Western country because I feel like most Eastern countries are definitely a little less developed, mainly because of the Soviet rule for so long. Right. But curious what people are going with this. Do you know which one this is, Kyle? We're going a lot of three. I was going to say the yeah. U.S. I, I did I not was, know this. I I just mm -hmm. had a feeling like I just kind of thought like maybe it, it's like a trick question almost. And I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I don't have an answer for that. And I would like I I meant to look into this one as to why, but I found that very interesting. Why Chile? Mm -hmm. Why does Chile have claimed to any land in Antarctica? <laughs> Because they got nothing else to be able to claim. <laughs> I guess, yeah. All right, so Kevin's on the board. Or Kevin's now got two uh, in first place along with Evelyn. And and then Stephanie Sample is on the board as well. Another grab Going in the final round, this is a grab bag. And this one, I believe, is very vehicle heavy. So this one has a lot to do with vehicles. But again, I didn't have them all be vehicles because... Um, I found a couple other questions I liked. So, 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 how come this one right here had uh, all caps, and this one doesn't? Uh, be, well, because you know is, when you change the other one more important. <clears throat> well, you know when you change names sometimes on this software, it like shoots it back to the original name. Oh, uh, yeah, good call. And I got really frustrated, so we all capped it. I like that. Bobby said that Chile was... wanted to be cooler. Oh, colder. <laughs> <laughs> all right, which one is not? The function of an engine oil and cars uh engines reduce corrosion lubrication cooling or combustion what is the one thing on here that the engine oil is not used for i think it's combustion but i am like the world's most illiterate person <laughs> when it comes to engines and cars and stuff like that but i i think it's combustion don't worry i am too so but yes, you're right. metal one. everybody thinks that. Yeah, I was, you know, it's one of those things I think you either you know you or you don't. But I'm in, you know what? I'm impressed that everyone didn't know. So my hat's off to all of you. I like the background of the game tonight. I like it's that. one of my favorite. That's one of my favorite five. backgrounds. That's one we use for Halloween a lot. Okay, I thought so. It looked for October. Question number two, which of the following car manufacturers had a war named after it? Well, oh, Volkswagen, Toyota, Honda, or Ford. Which one had a war? And this was a real life war. Hmm. I'm going Toyota. Kyle going Toyota. Any other? I'm curious what other people are going with. So I'm curious what everybody else puts down. So far, I'm the only one with Toyota. Oh. Kev went with Toyota. So this was Toyota. Back in the 1980s, for about eight months, Chad and Libya had what they was now called the Toyota Wars because most of the equipment brought on both ends was used by Toyota, were, were Toyota Highlanders were used. So they ended up being called the Toyota. It was a border dispute, I believe. Chad, between Chad and, and Libya. Libya. And it was a real-life war. Bonus points for anybody that, can, that knows where Chad or Libya is. <laughs> well in africa yeah i don't know where in africa <laughs> all right question number three which one of the following is not made by ford so the model a fiesta f-150 or camry
And I have a feeling this one's going to come down to speed. Mm -hmm. Unless you just don't pay attention to car models and you know, and that's, that's okay too. But there's just some questions you put in there and Kyle knows, you know, you just put questions and sometimes that you, you just, sometimes it's just, it's a gimme, but it's, uh, you know, who can answer it the quickest. Um, We should, uh, we should do one, one time, like, because I'm trying to remember how many models there were of like, you know, the model a and and the model T and all that stuff. We should have put like all those different ones in there for have one of them be like a letter that they didn't do. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Trying to rem- I, I just watched something on Henry Ford like a month ago, and I'm trying to remember how many like how many different versions they came out with. All right, question number four: Who was the 40th president of the U.S.? Ronald Reagan, Richard Nixon, Jimmy Carter, or Bill Clinton? All right, hold on. I got to work backwards on this. Biden, I think, is 46. Trump was 45th. Obama would have been 44th, and. Technically, would he have been for he would have been forty third as well, right? Why? Well, I don't. I did. Be, do they count each term as like a second no. one or just be, okay, just as no. one? So he would have been forty uh, fourth. Bush would have been forty third. Would have been second. I was gonna say Reagan. Okay, yeah. Well, Kyle got it. It took him. It took him <laughs> multiple. Oh, well, we had a we had a, we had a small snafu there. Not not sure uh, how they how they count the presidency. <laughs> there was it was Reagan. So then the final question of the night before we go into the bonus, which is a country flag, fun with flags. Which former U.S. president was nicknamed Teddy after he refused to shoot a defenseless black bear? I mean. I think everyone's going to get this one, most likely. But again, it comes down to speed. If they play enough, they know Dan and I both like Teddy Roosevelt. Yep. And he so Teddy Roosevelt was the – he was the one, I think, that created the Bull Moose Party, right? Yes. And yep. National Parks. The guy was just an alpha. Yep. So again, that was, you know, Bobby, I apologize. That wasn't a fair. Poor Bobby. This is not stuff you probably learned in school about U.S. presidents. So you were a little bit of a disadvantage on that one as well. We're going to have to add some Canadian history. I've well, we've done it before. I've done it before. I've only done it for a round or two. That's true. Yep. Because unfortunately, there's only you and Bridget, I think, will be the only two that be able to answer most of it. But all right, let's see what we got. Um, so Dirk. Um, Kev, so Kev takes the lead with three points. Uh, Dirk is in second with two, and K is on the board with one. So, this is a flag one. Obviously, you just type in one, two, three, or four. First person to get it gets the point. I encourage people to try it at least see if you know what it is before you just spam it. But I also understand you know, you want points. Is it a state or a country? It's a country. In Africa. Okay, I was just going to say, can we get a hint as far as the continent? They are all Africa. It's an African country, but all the answers are African countries, so it doesn't help too much. Hmm. Oh, okay. Is that Zimbabwe, Togo, Sudan, or Kenya? All right, go. What's your gut? Uh, I'm going Sudan. Sudan? Yep. I'm curious. Uh, so it looks like Dirk went with Sudan. Whoa, holy cow, they all came in really quickly. Hang on. I got to look through and see. So my first yeah. reaction was Sudan, then it was Zimbabwe, and then I went back to Sudan. So this one is Kenya. Oh, wow. Um, I believe. God, I'm trying to remember now. I type all these in, and I'm like, yeah, this is definitely – yeah, but I'm one 100 – okay, yes. It is Kenya. <laughs> it's like – I'm pretty sure. So Curtis gets the point on that, which does bump him up uh, to second place still. But Kev, uh, Kevin wins the game. So congratulations, Kevin, um, with three points. Uh, Dirk, Curtis, Joey, and Evelyn all had two for second place. And then we had a slew of people for third. We had Steph Samples, Stephanie, uh, Kay, Bobby, and Brooke all with uh, one point for third place. So, guys, thank you so much for playing. We'll be back on Wednesday, same time, same place. Have a good night, guys.
Have a great night, guys.